Right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I am Umit Bitici, uh, I'm the Professor of Business Performance here at uh, Heriot Watt University. I'm also Head of Department in the uh, Department of Business Management. Uh, so I'm going to start telling you a little bit about myself because I just want to give you a profile of typical academic in the department. So I started life about 36 years ago as an engineer. I worked in manufacturing companies designing products and man design, uh, man building manufacturing systems to make those products. Then I did a master's degree in engineering management and, 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 and then business management. And, and, and then I went into engineering consultancy. In my engineering consultancy role, I was helping large firms to implement high-speed automated manufacturing systems, making margarine bottles of water and things like that. Uh, and then from there, I moved on to management consultancy, working on sort of business improvement, change management projects, both here in the UK, Europe, Asia, and US. And about 26 years ago, I moved into academia, and in last 20, I spent the last 25 years of my career trying to understand how really good companies measure and manage performance and what, make, what really makes a difference. So that's sort of my background. Uh, and, and what you will find is that uh, in our department in business management, there is a range of uh, people with similar sort of uh, blended backgrounds that, that helps to add value to, the, to, to, to what we do. So let me tell you a little bit more about uh, uh, the, de the, the department. The Department of Business Management is one of the largest departments in Heriot Watt University. We, we, are, we operate across three campuses in Edinburgh here in Scotland, the largest campus, and then Dubai uh, and Kuala Lumpur and, 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 and Malaysia. We've got around about 1,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students in Edinburgh, uh, around about 700 in Dubai, about 300 in Malaysia. What, is, what are we about? Our mission is, is about educating tomorrow's leaders for tomorrow's, or, or, or tomo sorry, let me just rewind that, educating tomorrow's leaders and developing tomorrow's management practices for tomorrow's enterprises. Uh, and to do that, what we are, we pride ourselves with is that we blend theory and practice and leading edge thinking. So what you find is that our staff is, uh, are, have got, uh, are well grounded in practice, they understand what the theories are, but they're also at the leading edge of, the, of their field in their research, etc. Uh, and and they are, uh, they're not just teachers, but they're also practitioners. Uh, so so in, a, in a way, when you come to our programs, you, you, you benefit from that rich experience. You know, some, a lot of times you say, yeah, that's what the book says, but the latest thinking is this, but this is how it really works in practice. So you get that, that type of dynamic and discussion. We, we also have uh, strong links with industry. Uh, uh, many of our courses uh, are delivered in collaboration with uh, industry get speakers, case studies, industry visits and so on. So, uh, so they, they, they form an integral part of how we deliver our education programs. Um, the department has got uh, a number of sort of uh, speci specialist areas or research groups. These are strategy operations and performance group, uh, human resource management group, uh, enterprise and entrepreneurship group, logistics and supply chain management group, and, and the marketing group. So these are the, 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 sort of the disciplines or, or, and the research groups that we, we have. And uh, uh, they work within their groups, but also we work quite a lot on uh, problem oriented projects where we put a number of ex experts together from different groups to work on a, either a research project or a, or a, a consultancy project. Uh, so we have, we have a range of undergraduate and postgraduate programs, and uh, I, I will not tell you much about undergraduate programs, but I will give you an overview of what our postgraduate programs are about. Uh, so, so we have about 250 uh, postgraduate students studying in the UK, uh, and, and the programs are, we've got logistics and supply chain management, and we have a number of different variations of that uh, as well. 
and we got international marketing management, which includes, uh, that also has a number of variations, uh, specialisms within it, uh, which includes international fashion marketing. Uh, we've got an international business management program. Again, that one you can do with, for example, Lean Six Sigma, with marketing, with logistics. So there's a number of uh, specialisms within, within that one. Uh, we've got uh, a program on managing business performance, uh, which is my own speciality, uh, a strategic uh, project management, operations management, and strategic change and leadership are the sort of programs we have. And we also just recently, this is the first year we're running it, uh, it's just a new pathway, which is, uh, is, is, is uh, management and leadership in sports. Uh, and we have two programs, management in and leadership in sports management and management leadership in sports performance. Uh, we have on campus here the, the Scotland's National Performance Centre, which is sports performance centre, and, and we have some leading athletes uh, uh, training there, and, and, and we, we, we run these programmes in collaboration with them. Uh, so all our programs are professionally accredited, uh, was accredited by professional institutions, different ones for different programs. I won't go through every single one of them, but for a Chartered Institute for, Institute for Procurement uh, and Supply, for example, institutes of, uh, uh, accredits all our uh, logistics and supply chain management programs. Chartered Institute of Marketing Institutes uh, accredits all our uh, marketing programs and uh, Chartered Management Institute, for example, uh, accredits our Managing Business Performance Program and a couple of other programs as well. As a department, we are ranked very well in UK and Scotland. We are, we are ranked second in Scotland and uh, tenth in the UK. There's a lot of business schools in the UK. In the business management discipline, we are ranked tenth in the UK, which is very high, puts us quite high, and these are uh, rankings of the Guardian University rankings 2018, so very recent ones. Uh, so uh, that's probably enough about the department. Uh, what I would like to do is move on to talk to you a little bit about student experience. Uh, we pride ourselves with giving the students who come here, and they, our, our students come from all over the world. Uh, and many of them are in, 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 in UK or Scotland for the first time when they come maybe a few days before the programme starts. Uh, so so, so, so we st Edinburgh is a great place. Uh, yeah, it's the second most visited city in the UK. It's historical, it's beautiful, one of the best cities to live in Europe. Uh, I think it was watered like that officially a couple of years ago. Uh, the university campus you can see online is a very nice campus which is only a few miles outside Edinburgh city centre but it's self-contained, it sits in a forest land, it's got lakes and rivers and swans and rabbits and deer and offices and students and, and, and staff. Uh, uh, um, so, uh, so in week one of your programme what we do is we bring all your master, our master students together and we do a team building orienteering type of activity where you spend two days, uh, part of it is, is, is sports, more physical, where you work in teams, uh, playing team frisbee, uh, indoor assault course, orienteering activity, but we also do more academic or sort of employability improvement type of programs, uh, activities, where you get a certificate for from the Scottish Institute for Entrepreneurship. Um, uh, but this also lets you, let, uh, get, let, you, let you know, you get to know your colleagues and friends that you, could be, you will be working with throughout the program. Uh, the master programs are, are, are delivered, full-time master programs are delivered over 12 months uh, and you will do typically eight courses in the first two months, so four courses, four courses per semester. Uh, four courses, second semester, and from about May onwards and through the summer months, you will work on your uh, master's dissertation. Uh, typically, in a semester, you are doing four courses, which will be about two hours. So you're doing about four times two hours of formal lectures. Uh, outside that, uh, you will need to work on. Uh, usually, these courses are assessed through a combination of examinations, coursework project work, and some of them could be group work, uh, and so you'll be working on your projects or group, 
group work, group assignments, and studying for your exams, etc., uh, on your own time. Uh, of course, uh, we have an open door policy uh, in the in the uh, department uh, where academic staff is easily accessible, uh, and and there's a support structure uh, round round uh, round you. Uh, apart from academic staff, you also have a, a, a personal a program director who also act, act as your personal advisor during your time. At and here it was. And in some courses, we also have quite a lot of uh, industry visits. So, for example, with international fashion marketing, we take students to some of the uh, fashion houses, uh, textile manufacturing facilities, and so on. And uh, we also take to, to example companies in terms of good, that you see good management practice or innovative management practices, etc. Uh, it's not all work and no play. We also organize some social activities. Uh, of course, you're free to organize your own social activities when you're here, but uh, you can. Or, uh, we also organize some social activities, usually around Christmas and, and, and around about uh, end of January, beginning of February. It's quite a special time in uh, Scotland, with burns, 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 suppers. Um, uh, and throughout, throughout your time here, uh, you're able, also able to attend professional institution and professional society ev ev events. So one of the values of the programs being, uh, being uh, accredited by these professional institutions, you can actually uh, participate in their activities. So you can actually start building your professional network and making contacts and, and, and learning something uh, uh, in that process. I've just been told that there's a question, so I'll take a question at this point. Yes, yeah, so we have a couple of questions here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you mentioned industry links. Do any of the programmes offer internships or ability to meet with uh, industry leaders? Yes, uh, we don't guarantee it, uh, but what we have is we, we, work, uh, we work very closely with the Scottish Manufacturing Advisory Service which is a government-run initiative who work with all the manufacturing organisations in Scotland. Uh, it's, it's, it's a link because I sit on their board. Uh, and uh, what we've d agreed with them is that we, we actually engage one of their staff to, to identify uh, internship opportunities for our students. So, so every year we always have a number of internship opportunities that we presented to our students. Uh, but these are on a sort of competitive basis, uh, and, 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 and usually we present the students to the companies, and then the companies interview the students and take them. But on top of that, there's opportunities to do your uh, master's dissertation, uh, master's project, uh, in a, in, in a company-based project. That also happens. There's been instances where we had uh, a student who went into an internship, who did their master's program. They actually offered the, offered the student a job at the end of it as well. The company was a company in Glasgow called Castle Precision Engineering, uh, 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 and uh, it was a supply chain management-related project. So, yeah. Great. And um, if you were studying a master's program, would it be best idea to stay on campus or in the city centre? Uh, well, it's up to you really. Campus is nice because com you can just drop out of your bed nearly and walk into the lectures and, and, and libraries nearby. And it's a nice and quiet environment for studying. Edinburgh city centre is very lively and quite, quite distracting. Uh, and, but it's a, it's a nice place to live in, you know, uh, uh, and it's only on the bus, 25 minutes, half an hour in the bus, uh, and uh, you're in the, uh, in, in, in the campus, so it's not, uh, so it's, it's, it depends on your preferences, but I think you should really, really think, uh, if you're going to be easily distracted with the, all the social activities in Edinburgh City Centre, then, then maybe safer to stay, stay on campus and then, and then go into Edinburgh City Centre when you want to. Yeah. Okay, great. And are there any business programs that would be closely related to oil and gas that you could study? 
we, we, we don't necessarily have sort of a sector based like aerospace, oil and gas uh, type of uh, programs. Having said that, we do contribute to a program that's run in, uh, in, in a, another school, which is on food and drinks management. But, but in the business school or in the business department, we don't have uh, programs that's specifically uh, sector related. No. Okay, um, I think that's us for questions. Right. Okay, so uh, uh, just to finish my story, uh, that so, uh, so the student experience. So having gone through the sort of two semesters, you over the summer months, you will do your project basically, and uh, and what we do is we introduce you to this project about now actually. So week three, uh, you start. To start to think about your what project you want to do, your uh, your week six, you're assigned a uh, supervisor, so you can start writing your proposal, etc. So that by the time you come to finish your studies and uh, and st starting your uh, master's project, you know what you're going to do. You got a plan. You can hit the ground running and start doing it, working it. Many students stay here and do it. Some of them actually travel at the same time and 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 ma manage to do a little bit of traveling around Europe. And, and do the uh, dissertation at the same time. And, and we, we, we have supervisory arrangements quite regularly face to face, but also sometimes on, on using Skype or telephone or whatever. So we're quite flexible uh, how we do that. Yeah. So, uh, so just to finish this bit off, so throughout your time, what will you get? You will gain specialist knowledge in your field. Uh, you will have experience in uh, designing and delivering business research projects in your area of specialism. Uh, you will have an insight into what happens in industry and how things work from different, uh, from, from the academics, but also from different speakers and different industry visits. Uh, you will develop a range of transferable and employability skills, including critical analysis, problem solving, uh, communication, uh, etc. Uh, you will learn how to learn, uh, and as a result of this, you will become more employable. This sort of naturally leads me on to my uh, next thing. Why is this so important? Is because jobs of the future. Yeah. So, uh, in many cases, people ask, so "What what shall I do? What's the job? What sort of job shall I prepare you in the future?" The world is changing so fast that it's difficult to answer that question. Um, yeah, if you just think about how we work, live, and play has changed just over the last ten years, the economic power is shifting. And actually, if you think about how what's happened in manufacturing, manufacturing went from developed countries to developing countries. But now, as developing countries, the cost of labor and all that start to come up and start to become equal. What they say in China, cost of labor is going to be same as U.S. by 2025. So, so with that. There is that the, the manufacturing is coming back to back to back to uh, origin or, or the home shoring wherever the demand is effectively. So there's number of so sort of economic shifts. There's technological advances. You know, uh, you don't need, make, need, need to make products. I'm shipping them half, halfway around the world now. You can send it as a file. You can print it locally, uh, and and we see a lot of IT ICT technologies changing the way people work. There's also demographic shift as people are. Uh, like five generations of people working all at the same time. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the people are living longer and and, and so on. Uh, and these changes are having profound impact on the way we run organizations. So, for example, Nikon, the the, 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 the camera company, but they do a lot more than that. They have a hundred-year plan. Lynn Products, the hi-fi company, launches a new product, significant new product, every six months. Uh, there is so much emphasis on uh, increased emphasis on innovation, uh, creativity, and this value of the knowledge-based workforce. And uh, with, with you as managers, uh, with master's degrees, we'll all be part of that knowledge-based workforce. is very valuable. Um, to that creative and uh, innov innovative uh, environment we are trying to create. Uh, we are seeing organizations which are globally connected uh, and, and operating in networks. So we're seeing organization hierarchies flattening 
We are seeing the organisation's hierarchies flattening and we create organisations creating this network of people inside the organisation and outside the organisation who are sort of inter working in entrepreneurial ways to create new solutions, new, new, new markets, new, new products and, and create value and wealth for their companies and shareholders and for themselves. Um, uh, in, we're seeing management changing from from paper and computers to visual management systems. We're engaging everybody in a conversation about the company. Yeah. Um, uh, well, we're creating an environment where people feel home. Uh, uh, and and, and, and so there are some companies trying to leverage diversity in terms of age, race, gender, ability, and so on. So, in sum, nature of work is changing. Here are some interesting facts. Today's ten, ten top jobs did not exist 15 years ago. Today's, typically, today's learner will have 10 to 15 jobs throughout their lifetime. For the first time, we are seeing four or even five generations working side by side. There is eight zettabytes, that's eight with a lot of zeros, 21 zeros, zettabytes, unique data that's been uh, generated every year. There is 4,000 new books that's published every day. The amount of technical knowledge is doubling every year. Here's the one I really like. We are currently preparing students, you, for jobs that do not yet exist. Using technologies that have not been invented, solving problems that we don't know that exist. So the only way of preparing you for this is we give you as rich information as well. what's the theories, what's the practice, how does it work, but most important is that the way, uh, and this is underpins how we deliver all our programs, is you learn to learn. This is research-led uh, education where you learn to learn, and once you can do that, uh, uh, that will be your biggest asset for the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you very much.